Yo, Shalom, Kwame Ashala. Kwame Ashala. Kwame Ashala. Ashar Shabbat, welcome to another Sabbath class Shabbat. with Sons of Thunder Israelites. All right? Uh, Let's do it like we always do. Shalom, Jezreel <coughs> 12, Tony Revels, Princess Laba Rakaya, uh, Malak Ken, Malachi SOT, D Nazar, Soldier Sanctuary, Warrior Maya Ka'ala, Trey Lindsay, Yara All, Captain Yara All, SOT Theophilus, Yadaya, Soldier Kawal, Prospect Isaiah, Not Sister Natizah, Rad Pack, Soldier Yabal, uh, Eliah Bun Gad, Jason, uh, Soldier Yakwar Yah. Yaikwa Baraya, Melo Israel, West Windsor, Frank Santiago, Kaya Bun Lawyer, and the broader Israel. Shalom to the early people that's on the class as we begin to fill up the room. All right, tonight's lesson is called Hang In There. It's just some motivation for the people uh, that might be going through some things. Uh, like I said, I was making an observation of this new year. It's not like it, this, this Babylonian new year. It's not like it always is. I don't, I don't see the optimism. I don't see everybody hype. I don't even see the the bells and whistles that I usually see out mm -hmm. there, man. Mm -hmm. Everybody mood is down. Everybody right. energy is down. Why? Because you people getting laid off jobs. People money ain't lasting and stretching as long as it's supposed to. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the, the love of many has waxed cold. You know what I'm saying? The music sucks. Um, <clears throat> the movies are trash, right? right? The TV shows is garbage. That's right. it's, it's nothing to lift you up. And since they not spiritual, they don't know how to lean on the most high in the brotherhood to get that energy right. like we do. So right. our job is to share that vibration with the people. Yes, really. So that's what this lesson is going to be about. Every every Sabbath class, as usual and as always, is a practical lesson, something that you can apply to your life, something that you can use going forward to build you up in the spirit, man. So right. we always going to be here as a fixture every Saturday, every Sabbath mm -hmm. day. Uh, we're going we're gonna to be on class around 8.30, 8.45, kicking doctrine, taking questions, and being in the spirit, man. Um, All right? That's what we're going to do. We're going to serve that purpose for you, okay? That's, right. that's, that's right. our reasonable service. service. Matter of fact, give me that at Romans 12 and 1. Read that. Let's start right there. Let's get started. <clears throat> this is the book of Romans, chapter 12, and verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, right? Holy, acceptable unto God. Now, if you was watching the classes this week, we put out some good videos in the yeah. last two weeks, man. That's real. Really. Brothers really. is out there in the brick cold, but because we was out there in the brick cold, we got some good bills, man. You never, I always say this the most high always going to send somebody to talk to you. It That's doesn't right. matter That's right. if you go out, he's going to send somebody out there to talk to you. And uh, Adawan always told us, Priest Zabak always told us that. The most high make you laugh, man. He'll he'll make you have fun. Yeah, he'll send he'll send some fun out there. So we had good fun with Sankofa, Sarnetta TV, and uh and another brother, man. Go go and watch the videos that we put out recently, man. Brothers is asked hard questions. All right. You just, don't think it's a cakewalk because we boast sometimes and say, you know, Israelite doctrine is undefeated. Yeah. Right. You can't see us on no type of education, scriptural, spiritual. You can't deal with us. Don't get don't get puffed up. Mm, because real. you could get cut. Oh yeah, that's real life. Hey, that's you could get cut by a a, a musty, dusty Christian, a yeah. basic Christian yeah. Yeah. could cut you, man. Holy if you unprepared, a, a holy rolling foaming at the mouth Christian could mm -hmm. cut you. Yeah, if real. you're not prepared and you right. go out there and you ain't marked up your Bible, mm -hmm. you ain't did no time to study or read this week. Right. You don't know what's going on in the world because you just feel like current events don't matter. You'll go out there and be irrelevant and get cut. All right. So what we try to do is stay on top of all those things, man. That's the spirit of SOT. We try to stay on top of all those things and we out there prepared and ready, man. That's right. All right. Time. Clubhouse is a great warm up. You'll see us on the Clubhouse application. We got 52 on the Clubhouse, 71 on the YouTube, 35 on the core. That's a good balance, man. I'm glad all of y'all could be here with us tonight. Time. All right. What we're trying to do is be consistent. This is the key thing. Consistency, man. That's right. And faith needs consistent effort. Right, you have to practice being righteous. Sure, like that. Listen, you have to practice being righteous. That means when a situation comes where it's uncomfortable for you to choose the right way, you have to choose the right way anyway, mm -hmm. and be uncomfortable. And then right behind that is going to be another situation that's uncomfortable, and you have to choose the right way again. You're right. not always going to get a hundred percent on the test. Some of y'all going to get 80s. That's a passing grade. All right, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna put you down for that. Some of y'all gonna get an 83. Hey, 
Uh -huh. You fold it in a couple places where some people will kick you and use it as a place to criticize you and put you down. I'm going to commend you because that's a passing grade. You did all right. Right. Okay. You hung in there. Yeah. And then what you got to do is do better the next time. This is what mm -hmm. the world, and especially Israel judgmental ass, don't make no space or room for. Right. Israel want you to be 100% perfect to respect you. Mm. Now, here it is. These people be novices, don't know nothing about the truth, only been in the truth for like five days. They on social media posting the most negative, accusatory posts you could ever find. Oh, yeah. right. I don't even go on Facebook. I go on Facebook to post our stuff. And get off there. And get off there because <clears throat> it's one sister complaining right. about why these brothers think they can have multiple wives. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's another sister complaining uh, Hebrew Israelites only put the women down. Then it's a brother complaining. Camps think they know everything. Mm -hmm. And then it's another brother. And they fought. How we become friends? That's what right. I, I be wondering. Because no. <laughs> be they, I don't add nobody I, as friends. Yo. I'm, 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 it's SOT in my bio. Right. A camp hater. Yeah. Request me. Request me the as their friend. Yo. All the time, bro. Yo, I, I, a Old Testament yeah. only brother be friending me. Yeah. And then next thing I know, the next day, they say, Hey, all you, all you New all Testament you. believers. And like, what, <laughs> why do I need to see your post? Why, how did you bro. get on my feed, yeah. bro? And then, and then I'm like, damn, this is just aggravating, right? Yeah. There ain't no joy in this. So I just get off. I go no. in there to go to Sons of Thunder page to post the update on my page. Right. And I try to leave some encouragement when right. I post. Mm -hmm. Right. You read my posts, you're not going to see a lot of complaining, whining, or put downs. Right. It's just encouragement because that's what I want to see. Yeah. That's why I be on Instagram so much. Instagram is better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Even even the worldly people on there post positive things. Yeah. Yeah. But Clubhouse is just damn negative, man. Just damn negative, man. But but so what? So what? So what? And y'all hold it down just a little bit. But so what, right? Hey, one of y'all uh, yield y'all yeah, yeah, captain. Shalom, y'all shalom. Hey, 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 I'll cover your head. So what, what we going to do is try to give you some encouragement, the opposite of the negativity that you face with consistently and constantly on social media and in the truth, right? Mm -hmm. You're supposed to go to people in the truth and you're supposed to have something that builds your energy up. But people in the truth is always complaining. Somebody don't like that. People in the truth is always complaining or they come from a very negative place, right? You have... Bro you, you have brothers that teach you can't have no money. Yeah. yeah. You cannot have bread. No, Why are you working in Babylon? Why are you trying to redo your resume for what? You trying to make it in Babylon? Oh. Damn. I got I to gotta eat. Damn. Come on, bro. <laughs> Right. You're supposed to be acquainted with grief, brother. You're supposed to be acquainted with suffering, brother. Come on, Okay. Bro. Okay. Right. Come on, bro. Right. right, you can't even fall in love in Israel. Hey, sis, watch out, watch out them camp niggas. Right. Ah. Why, to ah. yeah. right. Why they breathe like that? Oh, watch out for them camp watch niggas. Watch out for them camp niggas. Ah. They're gonna try to control you. Like, yeah, yeah. Damn, you know, the brother wanna be with the sister. Let the sister go under his body. You right. did, is you gonna try to nurture and take care of her? Right. Are you gonna come to her with positivity and the up, uplifting energy? Nah, right. sis, you could teach too. Put that spirit over there. People don't like that. Yeah, they gotta, they <laughs> they gotta, gotta get, out of here. get out of here. That's how it be, all right. But that's not how you supposed to think. Right, man. right. It's almost like it's black people make the coolest stuff corny and the corniest stuff cool. Right. Mm -hmm. It's 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 cool to hate you forever if you if you make me angry. Yeah. It's cool to get my lick back. Is is but it's lame to forgive you. Yeah. It's lame to forgive and forget. What's wrong with that? It's 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 cool, right? It's cool if I'm in the world and I got eight nine girls that I juggle right around the city. It's one give me money, right? The other one cook for me, right? The other yeah, one yeah. I lay down with. Mm -hmm. The other one when I'm hurt and I could go stay at her house and smoke. Right. That's right. cool. Yeah, and they don't know about cool. each other. Yeah. And they don't know about each other. Right. Yeah. But it's lame. When a brother say, I'm going to have two, I'm going to have three. Right. And, yeah. right. yeah. and y'all going to be with me and be up under my vibration. I'm going to take right. care of all y'all. I'm, I'm going to love hey, y'all as I got, my own flesh. Y'all going to love you as my own flesh. Right? right. Just, just yeah. do what I'm asking. Right. Cooperate. Right? Yeah. Right. 
it's lame when it, it's cool when you in a gang and brothers that shoot for you, stab right. for you, yeah. kill for you, right? Spin a block for you, right? Yeah. That's cool. I got five niggas. What my, I got five niggas that'll run down on you right now, smoke you, say something I don't like. Be proud about it. Yeah, proud. Yeah. But it's lame that I'm in a camp. Yeah, I'm in a camp. And right. we all brothers together. Now, right. Right. now we become yes. And man. we loyal to each other. You said now, what? Now, now we now, now, we, now, now we was now we yes me. Oh, you're not yes me when I tell you to go shoot somebody and you do it. Right. But when I teach you order according to the scriptures, you become a yes man. Right. Uh, yeah. You become a follower. Oh, I see. I see. That's, that's corny as hell. Cause we make the cool stuff lame and the lame stuff cool. Right. I hate music. Oh God, yo, I love music. Let me fix that. I love music, but I hate music now yeah. because I don't get that feeling no more. Because what's cool is corny, right? Right? Yeah. Creativity has now become lame, mm -hmm. and and making a song that sounds like the song that's already out is cool. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Same thing with TV. Right. That's making it. But you lame for watching an original show, right? Right. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. For for making something original. You right. you. But you cool for copying with that which has already been done. And the only thing we don't want to copy is racism. As you speaking, right. somebody posted that on your Facebook. This is a, a, a um, clubhouse. A clubhouse room. Israelite camps are Jesuit Masonic infiltration. <laughs> no, what? You can't make that up. Make it up. Make it, hey, the most I made it appear. Brothers don't even know what the Jesuits are. Right. Read what you got. Kind book of Isaiah, chapter 5, and verse 20. Right. Woe unto them that call evil good and mm -hmm. good evil, mm -hmm. that put darkness for light and light for darkness, right. that put bitter for sweet and sweet mm -hmm. for bitter. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Like, you. A good thing for your community, people, men who decided to put away drugs and guns, yeah, and the, the hate for their brother who decided to put that away and come together on one accord mm -hmm. for their community yeah. for the betterment of their people. Yeah, you call that evil. That's not so. So, when we was killing each other in the streets, selling drugs, destroying our families, mm -hmm. that was that was good. Right. So that you call that good thing? That was cool. That was cool. You get love for that. You don't get no love for being a brother. Right. You know what I'm saying? For putting sick. that away. It's sick. I know brothers that work jobs you don't want to work and got everything you want. Right. Right. But them jobs, you will make fun of brothers for working them jobs. Right. Mm -hmm. But they got everything you want and more and yeah. work them type of jobs. Yeah. And that's what we got to get into because they not lazy and they in the right spirit. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. First of all, let's cut something. What's that? Brothers, brothers say you cannot work. Uh Jeremiah, yeah, 29. And I'm there. I'm there. Brothers say you cannot work in this captivity, you cannot find love in this captivity, you cannot find happiness in this captivity. You're supposed to just be acquainted with grief and suffering, and that's it. Uh, Timothy Creed said, Yo, yo, can I get the link? The link to what? Is uh, that think, the dude? I think, I think this dude was oh. this dude hopped on uh, oh, Saturday, Saturday, Saturday and he's 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 not he wants to talk about like the Trinity and stuff. Oh, is that the dude we talked to? Yeah. Kind. Well, you, if you wait until I finish the lesson, which is important, and you could stay around, which would make you sincere, then we'll talk to you after. Yeah. But back to my people. Now, go to Jeremiah 29 and 4 and read that. Because the Lord don't agree with that. You can actually be happy. Mm -hmm. You can actually have love. You can mm -hmm. actually increase yourself even in captivity. You're right. supposed to do that. Read this, Jeremiah 29, 4. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29 and verse 4. Come on. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, unto all that are carried away captives, whom I have caused to be carried away from Jerusalem unto Babylon. Build ye houses and dwell in them, and plant gardens and eat the fruit of them. So we'll say what? Plant gardens, gardens and, and eat the fruit, fruit of them. them. Come on. Take ye wives. Do what? Take, Take ye wives. Why are you looking for love in Babylon? Why are you trying to be a family man in Babylon? This is what brothers say, man. Why are you trying to get married and all that? Yeah, the most high going to destroy this place. Just be sad and wait for that to happen. Yep. The scriptures don't really say that, though. Right. Say it again. Take, Take ye wives. wives. And beget sons and daughters. You're supposed to take wives and have sons and daughters, read. Really? And take wives for your sons and give your daughters to husbands that they may bear sons and daughters. That what? That they may bear, bear sons, sons and, and daughters. daughters. Come on. 
that ye may be increased there and not diminished. You're supposed to go Baruch 1 and 11. You're supposed oh, to be man. increased in the captivity and not diminished. Right. Because the captivity that you in was not to destroy you. Baruch 1 and 11. Read it. Baruch 1 and 11. Read that. Read, read. Go. Quick on the sword. Book of Baruch chapter 1 and verse 11. Come on. And pray for the life of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, mm. and for the life of Balashar, his son, that their days may be upon earth as the days of heaven. Mm -hmm. And the Lord will give us strength and lighten our eyes. Mm -hmm. And we shall live under the shadow of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and under the shadow of Belashar, his son. That's hard to be understood. The Most High uh -huh. just said, you're going to pray for the heathen that's over you for they to prosper so that you can eat off their prosperity. Right. Mm. That's in the right. Bible. Right. Read on. And we shall serve them many days and find favor in their sight. See? Pray for us also unto the Lord our God. We have sinned against the Lord. And that's the purpose of captivity is a punishment, but you're not right. supposed to be destroyed there. You can still do well for yeah. yourself. You can still come out on top. You just got to be optimistic and remain faithful, man. Mm -hmm. It's hard to be optimistic, man. This, uh, that's basically what that's we just read in Baruch. That's kind of what well. the next verse in Jeremiah say, verse 7. Read. It says, and seek the peace of the city whither I have caused you to be carried away captive. And? And pray unto the Lord for it. For in the peace... Thereof shall ye have peace. There you go. Now, mm -hmm. brothers, going to box you and say, "Well, ain't you supposed to pray for the downfall of this kingdom? How you going to pray for the peace of the city?" Mm -hmm. I pray that the tornado that passed through here yesterday did not touch down, and, uh -huh. it, and it didn't. Mm -hmm. That's praying for the peace of the city. Why? Right. Why I want the tornado to come right. and knock well, my I'm house here. down? Damn! <laughs> I want the tornado to come knock my house down because I got to <laughs> prove that I hate Babylon. Don't make no sense. Brothers, don't be practical. On, they be yeah. overdoing it. Yeah. Brothers, brothers want to. Brothers be angry in the world and then they come into the understanding and they want to be angry here. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be happy that you found this. That's right. real. It's a joy. It's yeah. a blessing. Yeah. yeah. That's the right attitude. Y'all got to get back to family. We we moving away from family. Y'all yeah. Yeah. relationships don't be working because y'all don't treat each other like family. Right. You got. I say this all the time. You got to have a 100% perfect score to get respect in Israel. Mm -hmm. If you do anything wrong, Israel no. going to try to seek to destroy you. Yes. 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 You're finished. You're finished. Yo, I got this, brother. It's over with for <laughs> you. <laughs> you can said. never teach no yeah. more. No, right. Don't come to camp. Yeah. Don't come to camp. Don't, yeah. Nah. Niggas, go nah. Niggas got the skewed mind state that if you are high in a camp, oh, man. You are not, you're not a human no more. Yeah. Right. No. no. <laughs> you, you, you reach a perfect, perfect form. Damn, you, you Enoch now. You are born to be with the Lord. Right. When, when Daniel Elijah, when Daniel Paul said, "I'm the chief of sinners," and Paul said that, yeah, niggas, what, niggas was confounded. Niggas had to be. What? Right. It's because y'all are not tapping into these scriptures, and you need guidance. That's what camps is really for. We to guide you, right? right? Because we have order and structure, and we have a creed, which is like we deal a certain way. Yeah. Right. I don't allow the brothers with me to backbite and murmur. That's Can't right. do that. We right. just direct. Right. You don't right. like. I don't like you, and we're gonna tell you why. Right. right? right. But if a brother repent, okay, okay. I we good. Yeah, we're we're reconciled. Brothers don't know how to do that either. Mm -hmm. Their education stopped before they learn that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got that. Point the finger spirit, man. Mm -hmm. Don't even do that in the world, man. Family go to jail and come out, you love them, yo. Right. He made a mistake, though. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. you love him. You threw a party for him to come party, out of jail. Right. And it, who's right. throwing a party in Israel for you repenting? Nobody. <laughs> what? Damn. Wow. No. Who yeah, going to throw you a party true. in Israel when you repent? That's real. Uh, the angels? <laughs> it ain't there. Who? Who, who going to make a video and say, oh, I was wrong? Or who going right. to make a video and say, I said. I said some things about you. Right. Mm -hmm. I didn't prove that. Right. And it's not that way because you prove otherwise. Right. Let me apologize. And then let me tell everybody I said that too. Yeah. I was wrong. Yeah. It's, it's not gonna happen. They get, wow. they, when once you come out, it's and not prove, gonna happen. Once wow. you come out and prove they wrong, they go ghost. You don't yeah, even see them. Yeah, yeah, they go yeah, ghost. Yeah, well, yeah. well, well, I'm sure the brother did something else. Because <laughs> they were about destroying your reputation, yeah. but now yeah. their reputation is stained because. 
what reputation? You can't build your reputation over tearing somebody else down. You got to stand on your own too, you right? Know, and come out your own, way. right? That's right. And then, and then lift up Christ, and then all men will be drawn to you. Not, right. exactly. not for clout or for respect of persons or running political campaign. Mm -hmm. You got to lift up Yahweh Shai. Then right. all people will be drawn to you. That's yeah. what the scriptures say. Mm -hmm. Learn this now. Mm -hmm. A lot of y'all struggling with your work situation, people playing with your check and your money. Man, <laughs> it's gonna be like that. It's real. Cause we gotta go to our enemy in one of all things. That's right. Yeah, that means they control the faucet. That means they got the cap on the water. Yeah. You can't make him take the cap off and pour you a drink. That's frustrating for a lot of us because we want what we want. We feel like if I work for it, I should have it. Right. It's, mine. it's not yours because the captivity said no. Mm -hmm. So even though you overqualify, even though you got the experience, you might still be blocked from the success that you want. Mm -hmm. And it's easy to get you mad. You need perspective, number one. You need perspective. Go to Sirach 13 and read uh, verse 2. First, under a lot of us is ambitious. We want to be actors, musicians, um, sports athletes, but that involves politics with people that's mightier than you. Yeah, you not coming in from the hood. We're not prepared to deal with a lot of those situations unless we got like a coach mm -hmm. yeah. or somebody that could prepare you. A mentor. A mentor. Mm -hmm. Like I played ball. I, I played ball. I was decent, but I didn't understand how to. Play the politics of ball. Right. Mm -hmm. I thought I'm gonna come show up, be stronger, faster, better than this guy. So yeah. I'm gonna play. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. no. That is a fact. That it, is a fact. Look, <laughs> yeah. it don't go like that. Like you could be stronger, faster than this guy, and you'll never get to show it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You will sit right here yeah. mm -hmm. because this guy is close to the coach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And a lot of young brothers can't maneuver through that because we're not trained for that. Or his family mm -hmm. go this far back in the school. Mm -hmm. And they donors and think you don't understand that. Mm -hmm. Right? So you don't know I can't come to practice on time. I have to be at practice early. early right. I can't leave practice on time. Mm -hmm. I have to find something to do after practice so they can see me. Mm -hmm. And then you got to fight the resentment. Why I got to do all this when I'm nicer than him? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because that's the world you live in. Right. You're at the bottom. You don't get something called benefit of the doubt. It's not for you, yeah. right? Yeah. Unless you got a handler or somebody that's representing you, is everything you want in this world is a hard road to get it. And I, I've come to understand that, and I chilled out. Mm -hmm. The grades you see on the top of the waves is from stressing stuff that I cannot control. Mm -hmm. And it took me a long time to learn, why is you worried about that? You you worried you stayed up all night staring at the ceiling and did not sleep when you can't do nothing about that. Mm -hmm. And instead of leaning on the most high, I leaned on my own understanding. And it cut years off my life. It stressed me out. Stress will kill you. Okay. Right? Yeah. So we gotta learn some things. Sirach 13 and 2. It's the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 13 and verse 2. Read. Burden not thyself above thy power while thou livest. Don't stress yourself. With things that's above your strength while you living. For what? Right. That's number one for how you can hang in there. Yeah. Yo, you can't make nobody love you. You can't make nobody be your friend. You can't make nobody give you a job. You can't make nobody give you an opportunity. You can't make nobody. It's real. You afraid to have faith that you're gonna get it. Mm -hmm. So you stressing because you think I'm gonna do something. That's going to make this happen. Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to say the right words. She coming with me. Yeah. I'm going to do the right thing. I'm getting that job. Mm -hmm. I'm going to lift the right amount of weights. I'm going to be starting. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm going I'm to run the right trade. I'm going to get three-time profit. I'm, I'm going to make this money. Mm -hmm. and, and look, <laughs> and you're going to be killing yourself. Mm -hmm. Right? Mad because it didn't work out, mm -hmm. and you don't understand because you're relying on your own understanding, yeah, because it's not for you to do it. Read it again, Ecclesiasticus 13 and verse 12, verse 2. Slack in, come on, burden not thyself above thy power while thou livest. Don't stress yourself out above your strength while you're living. Stop doing that, yeah. 
how many people can just take that one jewel and end the class? That's real. Man, I will also say, folks be wanting more than that, but it, it can be that, that simple. It's that simple. Yeah. The first precept you got on this class cut everything that you're stressing about. Because the Lord said, don't do that. Mm -hmm. Right. You ain't got nothing to do with that. Yeah. I'm not, yo, two years ago, I would, I'm, my stress level was giving migraines and nightmares, no sleep. Mm. I was looking different because I'm stressing. Yeah. Because I feel like I can do something for what I want to happen. I can do it. And the world will teach you that. Like, oh, you got to grind. All these podcasts, mm. oh, you got to grind. You six months, no sleep. Your life is going to change. No, the most high doing it is going to change your That's life. Right. Yeah. Am I lying? Yeah. Read on. It reads, and have no fellowship yeah, with one that is mightier mm -hmm. and richer than thyself. Say what? Have no. Oh, it's not going to be Have no. And read, and read um, to the TV. Uh, read with energy towards them. And have no fellowship with one that is mightier and richer than thyself. Hold on one second. Now, the Bible just said, have no fellowship with somebody that's richer than you. Don't try to rub elbows. What do we do in the black community? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do we do? I wanted oh, to I rap. Know, no, no. I, I wanted yeah. to be the guy. I had yeah. bars. I had songs. I was running around. I was feeding to be in places yeah. with people with bread. I remember, and, I remember you telling me that. And to be around them. And these niggas is weird. What nigga? What is it? Is that two niggas? What? Mm -hmm. Thought you was gangster. You strange. Why are you wearing that? Why are you sweating? Are you sniffing coke? <laughs> I'm sweating. But you want to be around these people, right? Because they got bread, and you yeah, like, yeah, yeah. All I gotta do is get in the room, right. and I'm a network. Ah, right? Yeah, no, no, different level. No, you. The Lord said, don't do that. Mm -hmm. You fiending to be around people that's fiending to take advantage of you. Right. You dishonor yourself like that. Read it again, I. It says, and have no fellowship with one that is mightier and richer than thyself. Come on. For how agree the, the kettle and the earthen pot so together. You, so you got a kettle that's made of brass, and then you got a kettle that's made of clay. And they in the same box. Mm -hmm. What happened when the box fall? <laughs> the, the kettle that's made of clay going to break, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. You the kettle that's made of clay. They the one that's made of brass. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when a problem, you want to be around these dudes, but when a problem break out, you the one that's going to be broken. They got the bread and the connections mm -hmm. and the circumstance to weather that storm. Mm -hmm. You trying to be amongst them, but you can't handle what they can handle. Mm -hmm. You out of your league right. and you stressing it. Wait, you stressing being out of your league, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Watch what the scriptures say. Go to Sirach 11 and 21. God. You never have to stress. Read. This book of Sirach, chapter 11, verse 21. Marvel not at the works of sinners. First of all, stop sweating these people because mm -hmm. they you are rich. The Lord said he know your poverty, but thou art rich. Thou rich. Yeah. You really rich because you understand the truth. So the kingdom is yours. Mm -hmm. So you're balling out of control, actually. Right, like that. Be confident in yourself. Chill out. Read on. But trust in the Lord. And, and learn this. Say it again. But trust, trust in, in the Lord. Lord. That's y'all afraid to do that. Y'all afraid to have faith. Nobody want to say, I'm going to go to bed tonight. I'm going to pray to the most high. I'm going to believe he going to give it to me. Right. And I'm going to get it. And if I don't get it, I wasn't supposed to have it. Mm -hmm. But... Yeah. What I'm supposed to have, I'm going to get that. Mm. Yo, when you call into the call, make sure y'all mute y'all phones, all right? All right, they away from the phone. I'm going to mute them. Like I was saying, you afraid to have faith. You afraid to say, you afraid to do this. I have a sickness and a disease, but I'm going to pray to the most high to remove it, and I know I'm going to be all right. A lot of y'all is afraid to have faith because you're afraid to be disappointed if you don't get it, so you don't even ask for it. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And how can you be in the truth feeling like that? Mm -hmm. That doesn't make any sense. You believe in the most high, you believe in Christ, but you're afraid to have faith. Right. That the Lord going to bring you through it or going to set you up lovely where you need to be at. You don't. You should not be in the truth. Then you should be an atheist because mm -hmm. you don't believe. 
So why are you bothering with this? Yeah. Do you, yo, is that regular? Yeah. Is that basic? It's true. Why are you even putting the shirt on with the fringes, growing your beard, if you're scared to pray to the Most High and believe He gonna do it for you? Because mm -hmm. you're too smart for that. Ain't what you really doing is you got an insurance policy. Mm -hmm. I want to be down with the truth just in case if that's the thing I was supposed to do, I did that. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's not the right attitude. That's not the right spirit. That's that's fake. That how if what if your woman say, I'm gonna be with you because if you make if you become rich, I want to be the woman, but I don't really want to be with you. You not that's not you gonna not work going for that. <laughs> that shit not you was not going for that. So you're gonna be like, nah, I'm not I'm not dealing with you. That's why your house say I'm a cat, I'm gonna spit you out my mouth. You lose right. one. Right. Read that scripture, Sirach eleven twenty one. Look what uh -huh. look what God said for everybody stressing about bread, money, jobs. Look what He said. Marvel not at the works of sinners, but trust in the Lord and abide in Thy labor. Keep grinding, right? Yeah. But grind in faith, right? Not if I stay up all night tonight and do and then I don't sleep, right? Bags under my eyes. I'm going to get what I'm supposed to get because I did that. No, that is your choice. Yeah. You could have went to sleep if you wanted to. Because right. Right. if the Lord wants you to have it, you're going to get it no matter what you do. Right. Abide in your labor. Do what you're supposed to do. That's right. If you if you have a skill or a craft, and we're leading up to something, if you have a skill or a craft, you have to sharpen it. Yeah. Some of y'all is nice at sports. Some of y'all is nice at video games. Some of y'all is nice at drawing. Some of y'all is nice at music. The, the, we all know a brother in the hood who was better than Jordan, but never went nowhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because he didn't abide in his labor. Right. He would show up, do and one tricks, dunk on, get a couple dunks. Mm -hmm. The natural. And then leave mm -hmm. and laugh. But he never worked out. He never, never he never ate right. Mm -hmm. Right? He's wanted to smoke weed. He wanted, he wanted to chill on the Ave and stay out all night. Right. Well, he never went nowhere. Mm -hmm. But there was a dude that had one third of his talent and he was a student. He got the grades in school. He was at practice. He played the role that the coach asked him to play. And that dude is in college scholarship somewhere. Mm -hmm. But he can't do what your boy from the Ave could do. Yeah. Right. Because he did that one dude abided in his labor and the other guy did not. I like to use these examples because it's relatable to our people. Yeah. Yeah. Read on. Come. For it is an easy thing in the sight of the Lord on the sudden to make a poor man rich. It's an easy thing in the sight of the Lord on a sudden to make the poor man rich. It's an easy thing in the sight of the Lord to suddenly Sudden. make the poor man rich. Right. It's right. nothing to the most high to suddenly bless the poor man. That's right. Right. Why are you stressing about your job? Hmm. Why are you looking at, why you feel like it's a time limit? Like, yo, I got one month. If I don't do this in a month, I'm never going to have it. It's an easy thing for God mm -hmm. suddenly to make a poor man rich. Mm -hmm. Right. And what the Bible say? God mm -hmm. like that. Why would God bless you and you don't have no faith? Right. Anyway, mm -hmm. you ain't even ask him. You ain't stop and pray like on some real stuff. Like, I know I did things foul in this life. And I'm sorry for that. I'm not going to return to that. And I want to serve you and I need your help. Right. That's a basic prayer. Right. Humble, mm -hmm. right? Huh. You don't have to do the Hebrew prayers that we do all elaborate and be Superman with it. That's a basic prayer because it's sincere. Right. right. It's sincere. Right. But a lot of y'all can't ask or even approach the Lord like that because deep down inside, you really don't believe. I believe in Yahweh. Right. That's right. I'll be seeing stuff happen to me. I'm like, the Lord designed this situation for a reason. Right. Mm -hmm. The puzzle is for me to figure out why, because it's to bless me. Mm -hmm. and how to deal with it. Not, oh, I did all this. I teach. I speak. Mm -hmm. I helped. I mentor. I counsel. I put up. I forgave. And then you gonna do this to me? Right. You start sounding like Denzel. Denzel. <laughs> you gonna do this to me? Right. <laughs> Right? right? Nah, I never get that attitude with the most high. I'll be like, wow, I didn't see this coming. Mm -hmm. this, but this is designed for my betterment. It's just on me to have the right attitude through it. Right. right. I could do this. Now you're not stressing. Mm -hmm. 
Now you're not stressing. Now your health is not compromised. Would your money matter if you stressed and gave yourself an aneurysm and you died? Mm -hmm. or, or you gave yourself a heart murmur palpitation yeah. and you That's died. Real. That's real. Right? Mm -hmm. Or you gave yourself hypertension and now you got constant migraines. Mm -hmm. Now you're miserable with your money. Mm -hmm. You go to work every day, making six figures, but you, your health is not there and you're sad. Mm -hmm. Right? Or you don't spend no time with your kids or your loved ones or your parents chasing the bag and they die. Mm -hmm. And you never see them again because you was trying to do this. Because yeah. you was beasting for it when the Lord was going to give it to you anyway, because right. it's for you. Uh -huh. Read your precept. Counted the one. <clears throat> this is the book of Matthew, chapter 6, and verse 34. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought of the things of itself. Don't worry about tomorrow, because tomorrow going to worry about itself. Come on. Con, sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. And you got enough problems right now. Come right. on. Con, that's it. Oh, so, sufficient unto the day. Is the evil thereof? So you got enough problems now. Why are you worrying about tomorrow's problems? Right. right. It's an easy thing for God to suddenly make a broke boy a rich boy. Right. You worried about what they saying about you? I ain't got these clothes. You can't go where we could go. Don't worry. Just abide in your labor. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, you work as a garbage man. Doesn't matter. So yeah, I like this job. Right. Garbage men make bread. Yeah, they, yeah. Do. they really do. They make bread. I know a mailman got every car you want. Straight He's like might. I look up to him. He a mailman. Wow. I want to be like him. You don't understand that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You want to be a rapper. You want to be a ball player because you think that's the only way. Mm -hmm. And you're looking down on everybody else. Right. But you struggling and these people you're looking down on right. got houses, cars, doing whatever, go, traveling places you've never been. Because right. mm -hmm. you don't understand. Because right. you're afraid to abide in your labor. Y'all right. understand what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Give me Proverbs. You know what I want to, I called it earlier. Proverbs right. uh, 22, 22, 22, 22, 29. First of all, abiding in your labor is going to pay off. Yeah. yeah. The Bible said that. Yes, it does. Hanging in there is going to pay off. Right. Stop. I, I'm, a, I'm about to take classes. Then you take one class. Right. And then you don't revisit the class. And then you're telling people, ah, taking classes ain't going to work. No, you didn't abide <laughs> in your labor. That's real. Stop telling people, ah, I just can't get in shape. I just don't have the body for it. No, you went to the gym twice. Mm. And expect the second time you went, you was on your phone. Right, mm -hmm. in the mirror. The third time you went, you mm. you was hand on your hip on a bike in your phone. Then you said it's not working. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, you didn't abide in your labor. That's right. Mm -hmm. Put the effort. That's what's right. Look at this precept. Read. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 22 and verse 29. Come on. Seest thou a man diligent in his business? See, do you see somebody that's about their business? He shall stand before kings. He's going to be put in a high seat. Come yeah. on. He shall not stand mm -hmm. before mean men. And mean is king's English for ordinary or average. Yeah. And insignificant. See that? Yeah. So somebody that's diligent or abiding in their labor, they're going to be standing before kings they're not going to be with the ordinary people yeah because they abided in their labor mm -hmm. we don't learn this we get discouraged too easy mm -hmm. we don't what hang in there mm -hmm. we stress and then we quit we quit too early and we quit too soon yeah, yeah. we quit too soon they watch that. okay yeah because we aiming at the wrong target sometimes like how we started you you think oh if i could get into this party I'm a I'm a save my money to go to Miami to be at this party with these people. Then they gonna see me. Oh, and, bro, bro no, they're not saying what I'm you saving your money to go to Miami to be at a party to see somebody to convince them to like you. What about the dude? Logan Paul is a celebrity, uh -huh. and a dude ran down on him and said, "Yo, I, I want to be like you." This is a chance to talk to Logan oh, Paul. Man. He said, "I want to be like you. Like, what can I do to be like you?" And he was like, "What are your skills?" And the dude was like, well, I, 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 I blog, I, I do YouTube. He's like, and? and everybody does. So right. you rub, you made it to where you want to talk to the dude, got to the dude, you rubbing shoulders with the dude. He's not impressed because right. you ain't abiding in no type of labor. Right. Where's your skill? Yeah. Where's your off? Everybody got a talent from the Lord. Mm -hmm. Why you ain't cultivated? Right. 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 That's real. Why you didn't cultivate it? Uh -huh. You didn't maximize it. You didn't maximize it. 
That's what this scripture is explaining. Read it one more time. Right. Kind of, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 22 and verse 29. Give me Romans 12, 11. See, is thou a man diligent in his business? He shall stand before kings. He shall not stand before mean men. So I, I want to be diligent in my business. Yeah. Let's, Guess what that means? Stop being lazy. Yeah, right, right. Take right. notes. Keep records. Keep re Be a faithful steward. If you're mm. faithful over little, the Lord will make you faithful mm. over much. Right. <sighs> be a faithful steward. Keep records, man. Uh, Yaikov says, y'all got to listen good. These are the little things that could change your life in the spirit of Yahweh. Uh, right. Straight like that. Read Romans. It's the book of Romans, chapter 12 and verse 11. Look at out. Not slothful in business. Mm -hmm. Don't don't what? Not, Not slothful, slothful in business. business. You know how y'all lazy in business? Y'all huh. y'all show up late. Y'all got a nasty attitude. I hate yeah. I hate doing anything in Atlanta. God. Everybody is slothful in business. Customer yeah. service is trash. trash. I went to the hospital. I was there for 10 hours. 10 hours. I was at the hospital for 10 hours. I go to a restaurant, they don't want to serve me my food. No, no, yeah. And they work. <laughs> go to the DMV, you're gonna be there for 10 hours. They complain oh, that oh, you're oh, there. Oh, like, you, know, there. You work here. They it got cold in Atlanta. They turned our water off because they didn't want to be responsible for fixing the pipes yeah. if it froze. Yeah, that's when the pipes burst anyway. So why did you turn my water off, bro? <laughs> you call them, they don't want to talk to you. Because nobody wants to work. Everybody's everything sucks because people is slothful in business. Yeah. My HOA don't want to unlock the right. door, even though I paid for the feast day spot. They don't want to unlock the door. I call them, they say I'm doing something. The lady that guy got the number to, she said, I'm on a date right now. What? I said, Yo, we paid money to rent a spot. I got women and children standing outside. Y'all will be all right. Well, 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 we'll just give you your money back. No, we're here. We're here. Yo, God, is, is but they send me a bill. It's right there. They send me a bill. HOA fee. They want that bread. Yeah, they they want that, that. yeah. Send that. Atlanta's not real, bro. It can't be real. It's not real. Because everybody's slothful in business. Mm -hmm. Not you, though. Right. Not you. Not, not you. Hey, the Most High just gave you a jewel to make you stand out for everybody that's trying to get on. Yeah. Exactly. Don't be slothful in business. Read on. Not slothful in business. Fervent in spirit. Fervent means you got a good, upbeat attitude. You're not negative as hell. Come on. Serving the Lord. And serve the most high. Mm -hmm. Right. So you got to have faith and works. You got to abide in your labor, but you got to believe. Oh, yeah. Oh, so I can... Go ahead. I've always despised the person that this is your job to do a specific thing. Yeah. You literally signed up for it, but I constantly hear you complain. Mm. How, how in the world are you going to stand out, right? You see what I'm saying? The Lord gave you this position to be in, mm -hmm. right? Now mm -hmm. it's your time to work in it. Mm -hmm. But now you're complaining about what you got to do. Mm. You you want the raise. But you you, you want the raise. You want it. But you don't want to do the work. No, no. You want the promotion, but you don't want to step up. Or you got worse it. after COVID. Yeah, right. COVID, nobody want to work after that. After that, and everybody was getting these PPPs and figuring out how to get money from the government. Nobody want to work no more. Mm. Which is weak because you can't enjoy society if nobody's working. I bet you think twice about talking down to that waiter. Mm -hmm. He's not there. You need him. Yeah. You have need of the mm -hmm. yeah. trash. You, you looking down on the garbage man. Yeah. If right. the garbage man don't come, you finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Through. So like you, you, you want to go to Walmart and all the sales is full. Oh. But nobody want to work at Walmart. No, you got no vendors and you ain't got nobody. And then when I try to get a checkout, it's 19 lanes and how many people swiping? Two, one, and one lane. When you when you come up to the lane, <laughs> the light off. Oh, I'm closed. I'm yeah, <laughs> and they talk and they talking. I'm going yeah, on my so fifteen bad. minute. Break. And they talking, but then you complaining about not having no bread. But why you ain't want to be a cashier at Walmart? Right, it's real. So I did that. I was a, I worked in a bodega. Right, I worked security. Right, why not? I had right. a little bread in my pocket. I worked Johnny. Ro I worked at Johnny Rockets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My homeboys was laughing at me with my apron on and a little hat. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would bring like four hundred home in a night. Four hundred in a night from Johnny Rockets. Right. Wow. You think I care that you laughing? Right. No. Now I could go get with my brother. He could take me. I could buy some clothes. You, yeah. you being, a, I got a little money. You being a competent adult. 
Like being a competent <laughs> adult is looked down upon now. Yeah, you turning like, down jobs right. and and what you would say as mediocre labor, right? right. Because you feel like you deserve a, a certain position. You didn't work. And I blame the music a little bit. The music got you. You know, they mock you. They call you a, these rappers. Oh, these rappers that you never heard of. His first song. He got five right. white, white gold chains. <laughs> you know, where he come from? Where this nigga came from? He got the watch and the bracelet, and he calling you a broke boy yeah, pointing at the boy. camera. Uh, uh, <laughs> so the and, and the crazy thing is, right? They complain about getting these odd uh, jobs and whatnot, right? But now, nowadays, you know, technology is going so fast, you can't even get those jobs now because robots got it. Now what? And McDonald's is robots are taking your orders now. You yeah, can't even be a cashier. Computer. Maybe I could get my food though. Because McDonald's is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really eat McDonald's oh, like that. Yeah. Stay with McDonald's. But yeah, when you nah, at a hospital for 10 hours, there's only certain things open and ain't nobody working. I went to a, a fast food place the other day. He said, we out of we out of burgers. I said, but that's what y'all make. And it was like seven o'clock. He said, uh, I'm sorry, we're out of burgers. I didn't even understand them. So I just went on to order. I didn't know what that he couldn't have said that. So I was just like, Yes, can I get uh so he's like. I said, I'm sorry, we're out of burgers. I was like, but well, that's all y'all meat. <laughs> y'all specialize in burgers. <laughs> Yo, can we, is that a burger? Why are you still here with the drive through right, open? Right. Yo, you can't go home. <laughs> go home. You know, we making we making jokes, but it's it's a real commentary on how society is kind of bugged right now. Yeah. 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 Read that in Romans, man. Right now, this, you said what? And the worst is Walmart. God. I hate Walmart. Yeah. I hate going to Walmart. Yeah. Why no lanes open, but they got all these lanes? Oh, <laughs> they got like 20 lanes. Uh, nobody catches it. Nobody working. Everybody. Read that. Romans 12 and 11. Not slothful in business. Uh-huh. Fervent in spirit. Uh-huh. Serving the Lord. Come on. Rejoicing in hope. Now, rejoicing in what? Oh, rejoicing, rejoicing in hope. hope. Y'all don't have no hope no more. Because mm -hmm. you don't have no faith. And because you have no faith, you don't believe the most high going to do it. So you have no hope. Nope. Just that's it. that's it. You have no faith, so you don't believe the most high gonna help you. Right. So you have no hope. You just like man, this is how it's gonna always be. Mm. And now it change it take your energy down and it takes your zeal down. Now you depressed. Now you depress. Now you sick. Mm -hmm. Now here comes Satan because that's mm -hmm. what he was waiting for. Waiting for that, right? You weak now. And now I'm gonna make you go rob a, a gas station. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. not, 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 not. I'm gonna make you jack a car. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, yep. it all it all go together, but you gotta see the connections and how it weave together. Mm -hmm. Read on. Hold on. Read on. Patient in tribulation. What? Patient, Patient in tribulation. tribulation. And then when That's things true. go wrong, which they definitely are, if something can go wrong, it will. You got to be patient while that's going on. Everything is not the end of the damn world. That's how we act nowadays. Everything yeah. is the end of the world. Mm -hmm. Everything is the end. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, we had an argument. We're gonna break oh, up. No. Yeah. We we don't. We're not compatible. The Lord doesn't want me with you. We had an argument. <laughs> Yo, damn. Yeah. That's all I mean to you. Right. Right. Yeah. It's wild. Everything is the end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you, you're not, I'm sorry, you didn't get the job. Ah, yeah, I knew I was trying to get a job. I knew that was a waste of time. You, did, you didn't get that one, bro, but yeah, there's many more, more bro. Right. Nah, the hell with it, bro. I'm about to hustle again. Come on, bro. Come on, now you die. Or do nothing. Or, or do nothing. Jail. Or you go to jail because you try to cut corners, right? Ah, yo, I try to talk to him. He ain't listen to me. Try again. Right. <laughs> Come on. Be a mediator if you need to. T take it to the church. Right. Mm -hmm. That. All the scriptures. Read on. Continue it instant in prayer. And do what? Continue, Continue it instant, instant in prayer. prayer. It would be no reason to pray if you don't believe, bro. If you don't right. believe in God, why is you praying? Mm -hmm. Right. You just making noise with your mouth. Right. You have to actually believe that there is a God to pray. Mm -hmm. right? right? Right. What you praying for? Niggas, niggas play sports. They, mm. yeah, yeah. Why did you do that? Vain right. repetitions. Vain <laughs> repetitions. Did you do that because you really believe in God mm -hmm. and He's about to help you right now, or is it just that's, that's just yeah. a ritual to be seen? Yeah, yeah, be seen. Get your reward, and they got their reward. Because you don't have to do that. You could just 
wait in the on deck circle, then it's your turn, and you pray, you you in your head praying because you believe. Mm. 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 You understand? I don't know what he's talking about. Though. He's just off mic. Just, right? Yeah, he just heard muted. <laughs> you got to actually believe in God to pray. Right. Yo, I pray like, I'm not going to tell you my prayers, but I, I pray and I really be having like a, if you see me, you would think I was insane because I really be trying to persuade the most high to help me. That's how David prayed. Yeah. David yes, told the most high straight like that. He said, if you let them kill me, how I'm going to praise you. Right. Because dead cool. people, dead people can't praise you. You would you would think the brother is insane. Who are you talking to? <laughs> He's talking to God. He's no, saying, smooth, Don't let man. them kill me. How can I praise you from the grave? <laughs> uh, right? Because right. he really believed that he's talking to the Lord and the Lord gonna feel like it. Right, That's yeah. why David got Psalms in the Bible, right. and we read his words to this day, right. two thousand years later. Mm-hmm. Right? right? And carry the truth of that of his prophecies two thousand years later. Yeah. You understand? Come. What you try to say? The, uh, the scriptures say re- re- rejoicing and hope. Yeah. So you, you 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 you're happy now that it's a time for you to have faith in the Lord. Mm. It's a it's a time it's a time for me to show the Lord I trust. And you crazy. rejoicing in that now. So an opportunity to have faith, right? Yeah. Oh, this look crazy. What's happening to me? Yeah. I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna be straight. This is actually for my benefit. Like right. extra points with the most high. There you Literally. go. Right. There you go. Read yeah. on. Give me uh, all things work together. Come. Distributing to the Salaki. Distributing to the necessity of saints. Now you're supposed to be able to go to the other people that believe and tell them your experience and build them up. Mm-hmm. They're supposed to look at you like, look at how everything came together for him. So I know I'm a bi right, because look at this brother or look at this sister. So you a walking example. Read. Given to hospitality. Come on. Bless them which persecute you. That's hard. That's hard. Yeah. It's hard to bless bless y'all. I love y'all. And I miss y'all. Right? Mm-hmm. To somebody that's persecuting you. Right. It's hard mm-hmm. to do that. It's you, yo, I ho- and, and you was telling me that. You said bless them, right? And it said it. A, bless true. them that true. persecute you. Okay. He was telling me that earlier. He was like, when it's all said and done, should lace them, should bless them, and, and wish them the best. Oh, you said, uh, you're right. God. That that's a positive influence, right? That's yeah. right. Read on. Bless and curse not. And and what? Curse, curse not. not. Come on. Rejoice with them that do rejoice. And rejoice with them that do rejoice. Reap, slack it, and weep with them that weep. And be there for people that is down. You be with them. Yeah. Help them through it. That's right. Miscarry with them. Miscarry with your friend. Yeah. Oh. That's pretty much it on that. Read what you got. Con, this is Romans 8 and 28. It says, and we know that and we know that all things work together for the good of them. Say it again. And we know that all things work together for the good of them. That love God to them who are that called according to his purpose. Yo, why y'all are all say that? He said, I went to a restaurant in Atlanta, and they said, what you want? <laughs> was he with us that day that the girl said, yo, did y'all get y'all shit yet? No, he wasn't. He wasn't. Remember the girl came out? No, he wasn't. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was, yeah, yeah, he he was, was there with his yeah, friends. Yeah, yeah. Remember the girl came out, did y'all get y'all shit yet? Like, yeah. Right, like, what? You gotta read it and then got mad when I said, excuse me? Right. She said, oh, oh that was who's rude. he? <laughs> that was rude how you said excuse How I'm rude and you just asked us, did I get my ish yet? Who you talking to? Right. Because she's seen a bunch of black people. Like, yeah, that's yeah, how yeah, yeah. that's yeah. how you're gonna serve us. Right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Remember insane, one story bro. said, uh, y'all need to y'all need to hear up and get out here. Yeah, yeah the yeah, same yeah, girl, yeah, the yeah, same yeah, girl. Yeah, yeah, same girl. Y'all need it's about to be 11. Y'all need to go. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, we could have left and not paid. Uh-huh. Yo, we could have, and I said, no, we're not gonna leave. We're gonna make sure we pay. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I do stuff like that. That's my character. Oh my fault. Yeah, something was wrong, something was Apparently something was wrong in the bill, and you said it's all right. I got it. So to speed up the process, yeah, speed up the make process, it easier for her. For, make it easier for her. I don't know, man. Hey, hey, I don't know, man. Hey, yeah, I'm just, it's a wild animal out here, man. <laughs> <laughs> yo, 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 no folly, no folly, y'all. Y'all don't know what we talking. But look, check this out. Ecclesiastes nine and ten, man. God, it's the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9, and verse 10. What the Lord say through Solomon, the wise? Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do. Whatever you whatever you set your mind to, yo, you, 
You want to be an artist, an author, a singer, a rapper, a producer, a musician. You want to be a street teacher. You want to be a camp leader. You want to be a, 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 a journalist. You want to be a doctor, lawyer, a school teacher. Whatever you set your hand to do, come on. Do it with that mic. Do it with your... God, give it all you got. All your mm -hmm. Come on. For there is no work, nor device, mm -hmm. nor knowledge, yeah. nor wisdom in the grave. That's real. Whether thou goest. Because you're going to die. You're going to yeah. die, bro. You're and you're going to have regrets that you could have went harder. Yeah. 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 That's in the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. Leave it all on the table, bro. Abide in your labor. Yeah. It is an easy thing with God on the sudden to make a poor man mm -hmm. rich. So, uh, you. Go ahead. Uh, my mother always used to tell me, she said, uh, you should want to live your life saying, oh, well, then what if? Mm -hmm. so when it's all said and done, mm -hmm. when you laying on the bed, you know, you should say, oh, well, instead of saying what if. Instead of mm -hmm. saying what if. That's it's me. better to say, oh, well, than what if. Give me mm -hmm. Proverbs 10, 22, man. Uh -huh. It's better to say, oh, well, than what if. Uh, that's good wisdom from your mother. That's done. That's done. It's better to say, oh, well, than, oh, look, uh, Araya put the same precept. He called it early. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Captain Araya. Shout out to that man. Read. Proverbs chapter 10 and verse 22. Come on. The blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich. The blessing of the, remember, Puffy told us more money, more problems. Yeah. The more bread you get, the more nonsense you got to deal with. New, new level, new devils. That's what the world teaches us, right? Mm -hmm. Look what the Lord said. Read it again. The blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich. The blessing of the Lord maketh rich. And he added no sorrow with it. Mm -hmm. When the most high bless you, ain't no problem. Right. 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 Mm. See, don't realize that, that the Lord is not the only one who give blessings. Because mm. you could get some from Satan. Mm -hmm. And they come with problems. And that's where it is more money, more problems. It's saying, Esdras, they have received blessings and have not known me. Mm -hmm. So who blessed you? Right, where you get that from, Damon? Right, mm -hmm. more more money, more problems is a worldly issue. But in the truth, when people have hope, faith, and the Most High backing them, when you come up, ain't no problems coming with right. you. Right. Like that. right, and that's a joy. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, that's a joy, God. Because right. you seek you 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 seek the kingdom of God first. That's what you did, right? And all the righteousness that came with that. And what happens when you do that? Everything else Everything will be else added. 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 Everything else will be added that's, to that's that's Matthew 6. That's, Matthew Matthew 6, 6 and yo, that's a great teaching because Christ even tells you, like, yo, you put your trust in these worldly things, yeah, that yeah. that moth do eat, right, and that do rust, right? It's gonna fail you in the end, but right. you're serving that, you're right. serving something that can fail you, right? Mm. But when you put your faith in the most high God, right, mm. who will give you all those things, your faith can never diminish, right. your trust can never diminish because the most high is sure. Mm -hmm. So if he is sure. And he has control over these things that you want, then your blessings are short. Right. Store your riches in heaven. Yeah. Store your riches in heaven, man. Right there. All praises, man. So some of y'all really got y'all, y'all, y'all gotta fear being lazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, what the precept I sent you? Remember, I sent you in the early in the week. Oh, God, God, God. Um, call it and read that because I, I want to wrap it up and take some questions and then shut it down. Um, you know, I got family here. I want to spend time with them. So we going to take some questions. And oh, he's wicked. Down. He want to be with his family. Damn. Yeah. That's how they, that's you how should, they you be. Should wanna be. You shouldn't want to be with your family. You want to read scripture. You're chewing on that. Chewing on that. And they all. Ah. And they all. You got to add that. Ah. 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 Hate that. Ah. Hate that. Hate that. Ah. Yo, what's that about, man? And they, and they all country, bro. They all yeah, country. yeah, 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 yeah. They all country. They all country bro. <laughs> read that. Read that. Call it and read it. Proverbs chapter 24 and 34. Proverbs 24 and 34 going to teach you something about laziness, man, mm -hmm. and distraction. Dopamine is a something that's released in your brain to make you feel a feeling called satisfaction. You feel satisfied. People smoke cigarettes. Dopamine. People use pornography. Dopamine. People mm -hmm. gamble, dopamine. People play video games, fiending, dopamine. Mm -hmm. People watch cartoons, TV, dopamine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, people, um, people, um, thrill seekers. Mm -hmm. They trying to get that dopamine rush. Yeah. 
what you're trying to do is avoid your problems and get satisfaction another way. Mm. So people smoke weed, dopamine. Dope. They just want to dope. dope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they want to they want to mm. get high to feel satisfied because they're trying to avoid something. Yeah, but that's called laziness and slothfulness. Mm. Look what the Bible say about being like that. Con is Proverbs 24 and 34. Come on. Yet a little sleep. Yet a little sleep. A little slumber. A little more sleep. A little fold in other hands. Another fold in other Fold your hands and rest one more time. So shall thy poverty come as one that travel. And your Travilla. poverty is coming. Travilla. Your poverty is coming. Right. One more little. I'm going to roll over and take another. <laughs> Damn. I'm up in time to go to work, but I could get I could sleep for five more minutes. Right, it was your job. And what happened? And you you roll back over and party in the bed with you. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at you. Jesus. You were supposed to get up at 6 30. Yeah, you the alarm, you woke up before the alarm, 6 20. Yeah. Instead of saying, Well, I'm up, I need to get up anyway. Yeah. You try yeah. and then you ended up waking up at eight. Yeah, yeah. Ten, You're ten, late, yeah. and you got to deal with Atlanta traffic yep. to get where you're going. You missed the work, day. and that's why everybody getting into accidents because they're trying to race to get to work. Because uh -huh. your poverty is right there. Yeah. So, yeah. Wait, wait, let them finish. And thy want as an armed man, your poverty and your want is going to come like a thief in the night mm. to rob mm. you because you my said, a little more sleep. Another nap. Mm -hmm. Let me fold my hands to rest one more time. Damn, that's a cut. It's coming violent. Your poverty showed up like an armed man. Give it up because yeah. you, you slept on your life. Yeah. Get up, man. A lot of y'all Israelites, when I do counsel, well, I'm depressed, I'm sad, I'm down. I'd be like, well, what do you do every day? Well, you know, I sleep and then I, I get up. Yeah. Literally, I sleep and then I get up and then you know <laughs> I watch TV and you no, know, they like that. Yeah, they did not. <laughs> you know, I listen to some music. I'm like, yo, what did you accomplish? Well, I can't really do anything because see how that talking and that and that energy. Yeah, that's a spirit. Man. That's a spirit of 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 sloth that's on you. Yeah, because you have no hope. Because you don't have faith. Because you don't really believe that the Most High gonna do it for you. Right. If I could tell you right now, you're gonna have to work 16 hours straight, but at the end of it, you'll be a millionaire. Would you even get tired? No. 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 <laughs> That's gonna be the fastest what? 16 hours ever. Man. You're gonna have to work 16 hours straight, but at the end, I guarantee you, you're gonna get a million in your account. You would do that six. You would be trying to do seventeen hours. Right. Yeah. Sixteen hour come. You like that was nothing. Where's my bread? Give me my bread now. Right. Right. But that's how you're supposed to live because you believe the Most High going to do it. Right. So you're supposed to work with that same energy because the this going to pay off. Yeah. Because I'm abiding in my labor and the Lord said He going to help. Me. That's right. And I believe He going to do it. That's so right. I, so I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this extra class tonight. Click click click. I'm going to read this, this this extra article on how to do this skill, and I'm going to stop being in my phone yeah, while yeah. trying to do it and yeah. listening to Clubhouse while yeah. trying to do my lab. I'm not really paying attention. Right. I don't remember nothing I read. No. Close the door. Mm -hmm. No music. Mm -hmm. Get my notepad out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to learn this chapter mm -hmm. tonight because my the skills I need is in this. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I'm going to go. What time is it? 1030? I'm going to bed. Mm -hmm. I don't. I'm a grown man. I can stay up all night. I can play the game all night. I can eat. I can drink tonight. Have me low Hennessy. Stay up and watch TV. Mm -hmm. No, I'm going to bed. Right. I don't want to go to bed, but I know that if I do this tomorrow, mm -hmm. I'm gonna wake up with energy for I can accomplish what I need mm -hmm. because I tomorrow is gonna go my way. Right. Because the Lord says so. That kind That's of right. energy we ain't got. Yeah. We too negative. Yeah. Yeah. We too negative, but what I'm what I, what I'm saying is don't be like that. Yeah, I hope this lesson give you a little motivation. All right, y'all want to say something? I think Yaquab said something. Yaquab, go ahead. Not the one. I was just saying that discipline, man. That's right. I've been meditating on this later. Right. That's what our people lack is that discipline, and then the back it with consistency. Mm -hmm. That that's what we need. Like when you when you're trying to accomplish anything. You need uh, discipline and consistency, man. I heard, so I heard a brother say something this week. He said, "Man, knowledge is not power anymore. The ability to apply the knowledge that you have and stay disciplined and consistent with it—that's the power. Mm. You could be full of, you could be full of knowledge and do nothing with it. That's not power. That's real. So we got to be able to be disciplined and apply 
what we have and stay consistent with that. Man. And that'll get you there, especially if you're doing it in the spirit of the Lord, because he already told you he'll bless you in your labors. Mm -hmm. So we got to meditate on that. It's a beautiful lesson. I don't want much needed. The, the Lord out of instinct will make a poor man rich. It says that. Take, take lift you up out of the dunghill and put you among princes. That's what it says. Yo, look, listen. What, Joseph was in prison. Teach. Came out of prison and what? The Pharaoh lifted up his hand and put his ring on. Him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Similar you said you second to me. Said similar situation with Daniel. Yeah. That's real. Come. Give me uh Proverbs six and six. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 6 and verse 6. Go to the ant, thou sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise, which having no guide, overseer, or ruler, provided her meat in the summer. Go look into the ant, lazy man. Ain't no supervisor over the ant, and it yeah. do what it's supposed to do. That's supposed to be All you. Ain't nobody watching the ant and telling him to go gather. He do it because he's supposed to. All the time, all day, be like the ant. That's what the scriptures say, man. Precept wisdom. Go ahead. It's the book of Proverbs 13 and 4. The soul of the sluggard desireth and hath nothing. The soul, the soul of the lazy man wants a lot of things but has nothing. Mm -hmm. But the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. But the soul of the diligent got too much because he stay mm -hmm. on the grind. Yeah. That's what you got to do. Go to camp, study your scriptures, go to work, be with your family. Lucky. If you got free time, it, right. do the other stuff. Right. You want to do the look. You want to do the stuff that people that got money do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the problem, yeah. man. That's real. You, you, you. I, I wanted to do that. Yeah. I wanted to stand on the app with the guys. I wanted to smoke. I wanted to play the game. I wanted to take trips with the fellas, different states, and mm -hmm. get into this and get into that. But I'm doing that out of poverty, out of my want. Yeah. By the time I come back to Jersey, I have nothing. Yeah. I spent yeah. it all out there, yeah. right? Yeah. Because I want to do the things that dudes with money do because they could do that. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of doing what they did to have money. Yeah. And then when I learned that, I had a, my life was different. Yeah. Right. Huh. I said, oh, yo, I, I live with my parents. That's not so bad. Right. We got internet. Done. All right, I'm gonna do this. Mm -hmm. And I went into the basement, and I I was in the basement on my computer for months, months something, right? Months. Mm -hmm. Freelance grinding, freelance grinding. Job interview, no. Job interview, no. Job interview, no. Job interview, no. Parents like, mm, what? What we doing? Yeah. Abiding your labor, abiding your labor, and then the most I turn my fortune, mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Now, you know. God. It it ain't happened overnight. God. I had to humble down. Mm -hmm. Got to. I, I, I was too old to live in with my parents. Mm -hmm. How I felt. But so what? I could have said, ah, F it. I'm done out here. Put my feet up on the table. Yeah. Be that dude that live in your house that you hate, yeah, that <laughs> kid you hate yeah. that won't leave you. <laughs> I could have been that. Like in a refrigerator, my pops like, damn, nigga. Every time, every time I go to the kitchen, you in the kitchen. Nah, I, I, no, I get up, I'll sweep, I'll mop, I'll take the garbage out, I'll cut the grass, make myself useful, mm -hmm. humble myself. Right. Thank you for letting me stay here mm -hmm. while I try to perfect my craft to get to where I'm trying to get in a new state. That everybody got to be able to do that. You got to be diligent, man, have and faith. have faith. I was praying, man, begging the Most High. Petition in the Lord. I know you're not gonna leave me out here stinking. Look how you got me looking crazy. Yo. You got me looking crazy. Like you, you got me looking like I'm a bum. Like I don't try. Yeah. Cause ain't nothing working for you. You got me looking like I don't try. Petition in the Lord. Petition. And then really all he was doing was just putting the pieces in place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just had to wait. Building up your strength. Now I could have fell out the truth. I could have cursed the Lord. I could have. Took a penitentiary chance because I was impatient. Mm. Nah, man. Gotta have that faith. That's it's real. going. Leave it up to me while I be living proof. All right. Go to uh Chirac 14 and read verse two. What you got? I was just gonna say, um, a lot of times uh 
what our people tend to uh, do is they use excuses for why they cannot achieve what yeah. they mm-hmm. can achieve. Like mm-hmm. diligence is, it forces you to deal with your problems head on. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like complacency is like the number one killer of our people. Like we get complacent and comfortable of where we at because we just getting by. Yeah, yeah you, you, get, you get that job you always wanted and then like three months in, you start coming to work five minutes late. Right. Yeah, I ain't a shirt no more. Right. Long lunches, right? You, you, your supervisor leaning on you, you complaining, right. talking back. Mm-hmm. But there was a time where you was feeding for this, right? Yeah. Like, it reminds me of like this uh parable I heard, which can be taught in many different ways, but What's of that? like the cow and the buffalo. Mm. Like, like when a storm is coming, cows they know the storm's coming, but because they want to continue to graze on that pasture, they don't move. Mm-hmm. Until the storm comes upon them, then it's too and they late. try to outrun it, and they get struck by but lightning. They get stuck in the storm because the storm's going in that direction, right? Mm-hmm. So they have to deal with the, what it's called the suck the whole time. It sucks, and they got to deal with it now. Whereas the buffalo, they know the storm's coming, so they will stop grazing and they'll charge the storm, so that they can go through the suck for a minute. But then they know at the end the storm is going the opposite direction, mm-hmm. and once they get to the end. It's clear and they can enjoy rest and enjoy grazing. But yeah. the cow has to suffer through it now for a long extended point. Because there's procrastination. Because they procrastinated. And that's, that's what a lot of our people do. That's why procrastination and compla- complacency, being complacent is the number one killer of our people. Yeah. Because this place makes it hard for you to live, but makes it easy for you to be comfortable with hard living. <laughs> yes, it does. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And that's deep. I see that with our people a lot. Good, 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 good point. Good point. I like that. Go to uh, Ecclesiasticus 14 and 2. It's the book of let um, Malachi read that. It's the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 14 and verse 2. Go ahead. Blessed is he whose conscience hath not condemned him, and he so like it, and who is not fallen from his hope in the Lord. You see, mm-hmm. you blessed when you know in your conscience that you have not stopped believing. Yeah, right. Because some of y'all know in y'all conscience. You don't believe in God, bro. Mm-hmm. You don't like it's it's a custom. Like we just supposed to believe in God. Yeah. Thank mm-hmm. you, God. You 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 don't even say grace for real. Mm-hmm. You say routine. Yeah. It's just something you do. You yeah. don't really you don't really be thank thank you. I can eat. Right. Mm-hmm. You don't really mean it. Right. So why would he be there for you when you asking for something? You don't right. really believe. Mm-hmm. You don't do anything. I'm trying to provoke y'all to think on that so that y'all don't fall into that spirit. Read on. Verse 3. Riches are not comely for a niggard. What? Read that again. Riches, Riches are, are not, not comely, comely for, for a niggard. The word niggard means selfish person. Yeah. Greedy. Some of y'all, the most high not blessing you anyway because you greedy. Yes. You ain't going to help no damn body. Right. Mm-hmm. Nigga give you money and that's where the money stay. Envious of your own meat, right? right. Whereas the most I put money in another brother hand, he gonna bless a lot of people. You right. good? You good? You good? Y'all make it hard for people to want to bless you. Oh yeah. You make it hard for people to want to help you. We give you bread, and then you turn around and backbite, but it it's okay. Mm-hmm. Y'all make it hard. The the nation of Israel makes it hard. Because yeah. black people, we. You could do us a favor and we talk about you the next day. Yeah, straight like that. Straight, right? Yeah, straight. So we want to withdraw our kindness. We don't want to help nobody. Yeah. But you can't fall into that spirit because riches is not comely for a selfish person. Mm-hmm. No, one reason the most high might not be blessing you is because you're selfish, bro. You ain't gonna help nobody. You you want the money so that you could buy the car that, that rapper got, mm-hmm. or so that you could stunt, stand on a couch and Stunt on the dude here. Yeah. So you feeling to call somebody a broke boy. <laughs> Straight like that. And say yeah. you got it. And say you got it. You feeling to go to the strip club and make it rain. You know, yeah. hey, the most high not going to lie in your pockets for that. No. But what if you was feeling to help somebody? Yeah. What if you was like, man, if I had this bread, yo, I could do a nice solid for the people that I, this dude I see on the way to work. He need a jacket. Yeah. I, I would get it from him. I just ain't got it. Most high, you know, if you help me out. Uh, put me on game a little bit. I, I will look out for this brother if you help me. You know, mm-hmm. and the most high gonna know if you're sincere. That's mm-hmm. real. And then he probably give you triple what you asked for because mm-hmm. line you to help him and then this for you. Mm-hmm. 
Because that's the kind of God that Yahweh is. Mm -hmm. That's right. Right? Mm -hmm. Read on. Let's read it. All right. And what should an envious man do with money? And if you jealous and the Lord give you money, what you going to do with it? You just going to go and try to show the person you jealous mm -hmm. of that got you got money. bread. Right, right. I'm not going to bless you for that. Right. Y'all don't really know why the, the most high be like, Keeping y'all away, he be blocking you, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you go ahead. It's a point that hey, the Lord, the Lord but is keeping Timothy you from six, something. You, be the last one. you want all it's this bread, but the Lord keeping you from it because yeah. when once once Satan give you that bread, because mm -hmm. the Lord yeah. didn't give you that, you don't Satan gave you that bread, and now you strung out, mm -hmm. or you feet out, or you got a you fell into a, a something that you wasn't supposed to be in, and now you're going out here, mm -hmm. yeah, nobody you missing. You know, you you went to the wrong party. You fell. You ended up in a freezer. Remember that, sister? Yeah. Oh, man. Come on, man. You went on a vacation and they drowned you or beat you beat up you in the right, right. beat you to death in the room. Remember that, right, sister? Yeah. You forgot about her. Yeah. yeah. Or you got caught up in something that you had no idea had anything to do with it, and now you serving time for some somebody else. Did. But man. you were steady. Why the most I won't give me this? Yeah. Why the most? I and then all right. They they say, yeah. The recompense of your which was me. And that's what this scripture say. Read. First Timothy 6, verse 9. The husbandman mm -hmm. that laboreth must be first partaker of the fruits. No. You're in second Timothy. First oh, Timothy chapter 6 and verse 9. Read. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare. See it. Some of y'all don't think there's no other type of blessing. Mm. You know what a blessing is? Health. Yeah, yep. straight like that. You know what I mean? Rich people got terminal illness and go and die. Right. You think they money make them happy? No. I'm about to die. Right. They will do anything to be that poor man who has his health. His health. That middle class man who could chase his kids around in the right. backyard. Right. Man. Read again. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare. You ain't built up for the things that come with what you asking for a yeah, lot of times. So, so the Most High is holding it back from you until you get spiritually strong enough to handle that. Yeah. Why I'm going to put you in a room full of people who sniff coke, rape women, mm -hmm. uh, 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 play with Satan, right. sodomize right. each other. Right. Gun. Blackmail each other, right? Uh, uh, get people in legal situations where you could go to jail for dozens and dozens of years because right. right. uh -huh. you don't know how to maneuver. All in the you name fiending for me to put you with them, all in the name of just being rich because you want to be a baller. Mm. Yep. Hey, you up? dying to be with them, and then you don't know what to do when you amongst them. Right. Come on, the earthen man. vessel and the and the and the iron vessel. Right. We already told you about that. You dying to be in that room to rub them elbows, and the most high is like, no, you don't need that. Mm -hmm. Stop asking me for that. Yeah. You're all right where you're at. Be content with where you're at. Right. Wanting nothing. Mm -hmm. right? Right. right? Remember that scripture? That's the point. Right. Wanting nothing. Be content with where you're at. You're healthy. Um, you have I've I, I placed a protection over you. I'm I, I I put you in a traffic jam to avoid you getting smashed by a tractor trailer truck. Just, just keep doing what I tell you to do and stop. Stop being covetous. Stop questioning mm -hmm. me. Stop questioning me. Stop doubting me. Right? right? I mean, you make right. the Lord frustrated, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Not to speak for the most high. You understand spiritual. Yes, but right. read it again. Right? Read all the way through. First Timothy 6 and 9. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and snare, mm -hmm. and into many foolish and hurtful lusts. Come on. Which drown men in destruction and perdition. Yeah. It drowns, drowns you in them. destruction. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh. Look at Britney Spears, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. Oh my God, she's it's finished. <laughs> Yo, you gotta say I'm done. done finished. Done That's how you gotta done. say. It. Look at she's Lamar done. Odom, bro. Done. Damn, brothers. Oh, yeah. Look at Kanye, bro. Man. Kanye couldn't handle the he. He brothers out there, man. Fighting yeah. to stay here. Fighting to stay on this side, man. Mm. Look how many celebs are bugged. Yeah. Yeah, because they couldn't maneuver in them in them rooms. Britney Griner is look at, I mean, not Griner Renner. Britney yeah. Renner is a, on an apology yeah. tour. Yeah. Apology so tour. proud before yeah. bragging about how she sleep with everybody and everybody. take their money. Mm -hmm. Now she feels stupid and yeah. embarrassed and, and alone. 
And now she has no friends. Yep. She done been used up. Yeah, yep. She been used up. Yep. All women should ask themselves, why are these brothers trying to get me down with them so fast? Right. Mm -hmm. uh, use you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Then when they don't need you, they're gonna throw you on the side. Right. Yeah. Who's trying to love you? Who's trying to be with you and take care of you and love you and protect you? Think on this. Right. Precept. Precept. Go ahead. You said it first. This is the book of James, chapter four, and verse three. Ye ask and receive not, because ye ask amiss, that ye may consume it upon your lust. See, the things you ask for, you asking for the wrong thing because you just want to fulfill a lust. Right. A lot of y'all want money to impress a, a girl you like that you ain't mm -hmm. even supposed to be with. You don't want the money to help your moms. No. You don't want the money to help your cousin. You want the money so that you could buy a chain so you can impress the girl you like, and she's evil as hell. Right. Yeah. She's a, a yeah. And the most high know that's why you're asking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Most high like. The angels probably ain't bring that prayer up because yeah, they right. they know why. Yeah, they're like, right. I'm trying to be like, Lord. I'm trying to be like Solomon. And they nah. Like, nah. <laughs> you want what Solomon acquired? Uh, yeah. You don't want to be like Solomon. You didn't right. ask for wisdom. You didn't ask right. for yeah. wisdom. Ask for wisdom. That's all Solomon that's all had asked for. Right. So what we're telling y'all is to have the right attitude and hang in there. Right. Your time is coming. You just gotta look at things the right way. And not be in a rush for the wrong reasons because it's not going to work out in your favor. Everybody understand? Come on. Go ahead, Doc. Come on. It's the book of Proverbs chapter 30 and verse 8. Remove far from me vanity and lies. Mm -hmm. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Mm -hmm. Feed me with food convenient for me. Lest I be full and deny thee and say, who is the Lord? Mm. Or at least I be poor and steal mm. and take the name of my God in vain. So yeah. the brother just said, most high, give me only what I need. Because if you give me too much, I'm going to get arrogant. Right. And if you don't give me enough, I'm going to become hateful. Just give me what I need so I can stay balanced. That's what he asked for. Balance. Mm -hmm. that's right. Balance. That's a that's a realistic prayer. That's, that's realistic. real. Remember at camp, you was like, yo, if I had... What, uh, if I had the riches, I'd probably be one of these brothers yeah, driving man. down the street, Fine. hearing the brothers teach. <laughs> I got my music all the way up in the Hellcat. Like, you no, know, that's why that, you know, Yahweh I said that it's hard for a rich man to get the kingdom of God because why would you listen? Yeah, mm -hmm. if I got bread, how you what are you niggas talking about? Yeah, <laughs> curses, <laughs> no, curses? That's what Kai, curses are due to do y'all work? Yeah. You know, they come with the yeah, 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 yeah. It's Saturday. Y'all do y'all got jobs, bro? It's Saturday. We all women, we all women. You know, because they because they high and mighty in their own mind. Talking about getting money, I don't know. What we're talking I don't about. even know what we're talking about. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go, my boy. I'm gonna go to it. I'm gonna go. Yeah, to I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I got somewhere to be. No, you don't. You got a blunt to smoke. The rich man, the rich man was sad when Christ told him what he told him. Man. Yo, just sell everything and follow me. Uh, he, he went away. He he went away mourning, right? Because yeah. he had many possessions, and it, and it probably cost him more than what he acquired. And that's what a lot of people uh, realize at the end. Yo, it cost me a lot more than what I required. So for me to lose this, I've lost everything. Instead of cleaving to that which was which promised good. to you from the beginning, the kingdom. Good, right? yeah. So we we hopefully y'all got the right attitude. Hopefully y'all got the right approach, and y'all. Questioning y'all faith, good. Like, do I really believe in the most high? Mm -hmm. That's a scoff. It's a dude named Polite. He an Egyptologist. And this is the most this scoff. It, he, I wish I could find a video mm -hmm. and a clip and the timestamp. Because he said, Y'all don't believe in y'all God. Ask your God right now to pay your rent. You scared to ask for that because you know he's not going to do it. And it'll prove to you he don't exist. Now that mm. that hurt that's, my feelings. It's a demonic scum. Yeah, yeah, Wait, yeah. listen, that hurt my feelings, and many people was affected by that. Damn, he right. If I ask God right now, put a thousand dollars in my mailbox, it ain't gonna be out there. And mm. you see how that affected them? Mm. First of all, we just showed you why you're not even supposed to ask for that. Right. Number two, God is not a genie that you rub a magic lamp right. and he give you three wishes. Don't right. tip the most high. You ask the most high. For money, he gonna put you in a situation where you can work to get it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's how he That's operates. That's how he does. You don't it. say, right. "Most high, prove me you're real." And you don't talk to him like that. Like who you talking to? See, these is all the things that's wrong with our people's approach, man. Mm -hmm. and, and hopefully, we did some educating tonight to help with that, man. So, um, uh, God. yeah, that's right, Israel. They say, "Why y'all wearing them shirts with them strings, man?" <laughs> <laughs> they don't understand. We keeping the commandments. That's right. Now, 
we're going to take a couple questions and then we're going to shut it down. If you want to call, we're going into a Q&A session. Uh, on, we gotta get a, uh, yeah, got, go call in as a uh, mod. If you're in a clubhouse, if you're in a clubhouse and you want to ask a question, just raise your hand. I mean, I got to get out of clubhouse. And if you're on YouTube, you will come to your questions last, unless you be a member. Um, you have the ability to join our YouTube channel. Uh, I'm going to finish that this week where you will be able to join and be a member. You get a special icon and y'all questions will be bumped to the top. All right. So uh, we're going to go to the call first. We're going to go to the call first. Um, just give us one second to jump on as a mod. What you put on there? Put somebody comment on the screen. Oh, yeah. The brother said, this might be the very lesson I needed to hear most. Oh, please. Please. Hey, man, we sometimes we got to be reminded. Come on. We got to be reminded, reminded of these lessons. That's right. I go back to that lesson. I, me and DeRock was talking about this on the way here. I was like, what made me join SLT was the lesson I don't want y'all all taught on word. Out of Matthew chapter 6. Like, what you stressing for? And, and I view life differently and it motivated me. And I was like, man, those words motivated me to want to continue to do what I'm supposed to do. Mm-hmm. Why wouldn't I join these brothers and be that inspiration for somebody else? Let the Lord use me in that way as well. That's right, and, I. and that's how it's supposed to be. Like we're supposed to all be able to lean and depend on each other, right. even if this was just words of encouragement, you know, through the spirit of Masha Kel Shah. That's right, Art. Um, give us a second. Yo, well, a brother was saying that he couldn't get in the call. He was saying it. Let me try. Your input is invalid. Why is doing that? I don't know. Because the call is doing better and not a hating. Can you do it? Give us one second, y'all. Here we go. We go. We go. We go. We go. All right. Q&A session has started. Q&A session has started. Hmm. Put that right here. All right, so if you got a question on the call, all you got to do is press star six. It'll put you in the queue for us to take your question. Uh, if you have a question on the clubhouse, all you have to do is raise your hand and we'll take your question. Uh, we got JT up first. You don't know it? Yeah, I'll put it right here. Okay. No, that's wrong. wrong. SOT Israelites. Okay, you gotta put the dollar sign. Um JT, you up. What's your question? Shalom. 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 Up here, I wonder. I want you guys to break it down. It's uh, Luke 14 and 26. Oh, I like it. For, you said Luke 14 oh, and yeah, 23. Yeah, 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 yeah. 26. 26. Kind it said Luke, Luke chapter 14 and verse 26. It says, If any man come to me and hate not his father. And mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. This is gonna bug people out. How you how I'm supposed to honor my mother, but Jesus said I gotta hate them. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Listen, this is why you how this is why Christ spoke in parables. It was mm -hmm. it was most likely 99% chance. There was some hateful Negroes around mm -hmm. that he wanted to be turned off to leave. Mm -hmm. And that's why he said it. See, Yahushua taught in parables Smart. on purpose. Yes, he could have taught straight, plain, yeah. and made it 100% clear. Right. But we all know he taught in parables. Even the disciples was getting mad. Yeah. Why are you teaching parables? Mm -hmm. He said, because it is given to you to know the mm -hmm. secrets of God. But to them, it's not right. given. So he literally did not want them over there to understand. So if you're going to say something like this, it is more 99% chance that he wanted to turn some people off to what he was saying so that they could leave because he didn't want them to get the knowledge. Mm -hmm. 
Salakin. Straight like that, right? Um, this is repeated. I mean, what well, obviously we know that Luke isn't a first hand account, so it's something that he learned. Um, Matthew was uh, is a first hand account, and this is another account. Go to um, 10 37. yeah, Matthew 10 and 37. God. His word is just a slight bit different. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 10 and verse 37. He that loveth father or mother more than me right. is not worthy of me. He that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. So that's the that's the that that is a sense of it. You know, you you put in any you put in your your father, your mother, brother, sister, son, daughter over Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, then you're not worthy right. for Yahweh Shai to bring you to his father. Go to uh, Deuteronomy. Uh, 13 and started verse 6. God. Matthew was the answer, right. but yeah. the Greek, the word yeah, there is esteem less. God, so you can't put your parents above Christ. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. That's what he's really getting at. Yeah. But to say it like that was definitely to reject certain listeners. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. God. You said Deuteronomy 13 and 6? 13 and started verse 6. God, book of Deuteronomy chapter 13 verse 6. If thy brother, the son of thy mother, or thy son, or thy daughter, or the wife of thy bosom, or thy friend, which is in thy, like which is as thine own soul, entice thee secretly, saying, Let us go and serve other gods, mm -hmm. which thou hast not known, thou nor thy fathers, namely of the gods of the people which are round about you, nigh unto thee, or far off from thee, from the one end of the earth, even unto the other end of the earth. Verse 8. Thou shalt not consent unto him, nor hearken unto him. Neither shall thine eye pity him, neither shall thy spare, neither shall thy conceal him, for thou shalt surely kill him. Thine hand shall be first upon him to put him to death, and afterwards the hand of all the people. And obviously we know we're not under this, the law to do this anymore. We're not killing our parents for going and serving damn white Jesus. We're not killing our parents for going and serving damn uh these damn crystals because i haven't seen a lot of older generation serving rubbing them damn crystals oh, uh, recharging them going into witch trap witchcraft we're not killing our parents for that but we're not going to do what they do either right. we choosing to serve the lord instead of oh that's my mom i love you ma so i'm gonna I'm come over here with you Nah, we gonna serve the Lord. I still love you, Ma, but you going off. Right. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna be over here while you do that. Right. Mm -hmm. So lucky. Like uh, I got a priest as well. Yeah, um, De Deuteronomy in the law, you even see this teaching that was taught in Luke, right? Or, or that the word you should say. Uh, Deuteronomy 21 and 15. It says, "If a man have two wives, one beloved and another hated, and they ha have borne him children, both the beloved and the hated." And if the firstborn son be hers that was hated, then it shall be when he maketh his sons to inherit that which he hath, that he may not make the sons of the beloved firstborn before the son of the hated, which is indeed the firstborn, right? So obviously, when you have two wives, you're supposed to love them mm -hmm. both as your own flesh. So it's not talking about, oh, I hate this woman. I don't want to be with her. She needs to be gone. No. Saying one, one is beloved, right? You favor her. You favor this wife, right? You may favor her more because her cooking is better. So right. you want her to, to, to cook more for you. You may favor her because she's better at this skill than your other wife. You may favor her because she uh, uh, is more fruitful. Whatever, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. It's not saying that you hate that other woman. Now, this is King's or, English. Right, it's just King's English. It's saying that she's not as favored as your other wife. Mm -hmm. So that's the same sense in Luke. If you, unless you favor me more than you favor your parents, more than you favor your sons and daughters, you are not fit to follow me. Mm -hmm. That's the sense that Christ is giving. So mm -hmm. that language that you're seeing in there is just merely the king's English. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. All right, good point. Hey, you you understand, Abdullah? Con out of one. I was just looking for a better way to, to word it, to break it down. Um, I got the same sentiment as I was meditating on it. I just wanted to make sure I was on the right track. So, oh, I mean, you guys answered it beautifully. So, all praise to the most. I appreciate it. All right, Kid. Shalom. Yeah. And, it, and if, you know, if you lose them family members because you, you know, you're not getting down with they getting around, guess what? The Lord will give you a hundredfold in the kingdom That's of heaven. Right. That's what he said. That's right. That's right. Oh, we got, uh, 
912. You know it. 912 689. What's your question? Yes, I'm uh, uh, this is a quick question. Uh, I'm trying to think of the question, but I was wondering uh, is it wrong to work out on the Sabbath? No, you working out on the Sabbath is, is carrying a burden. I'm, I would say that you are out of the spirit to uh, carry a burden on the Sabbath day. So lifting a weight is the definition of carrying a burden. Oh, yeah. So we can't do that. All right. I would say work out on another day or wait till the Sabbath is over. That's the opposite of rest, lifting weights. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. That's if, if it was your job or it was for your livelihood, that's something different because we have a stance on that. But for leisure purposes, no, don't do that. Rest. Find another thing to do to enjoy the Sabbath. That's what we say. All right? All right. Uh, 518-757, you're the last question. What's up? Yes, sir, Shalom family. I'm looking at a question. So I was watching the, the car video. Uh, they came, he brought up... Uh, in Genesis 1, no. uh, verse 3 through 5, uh, the same as reference to Colossians chapter 1, 16 through 17. Can you slow down? Genesis 1? Can you slow down? Genesis 1, what? Verse 3 through verse 5. Okay. And then what, what are you comparing it to? And, and, and then the reference of uh, Colossians chapter 1, verse 16 through 17. Colossians 1 and 15. Read Colossians 1 and 15. That's the firstborn of the creed. Colossians yeah, 16. That's, that's it says 16. One. Say it again. Colossians 1 and what? 16 and 17? Yeah, that's what we teach. What? Uh, 1, 15 through 17. Read, read this. Now, wait. What's your question? Uh, okay, so my question is, uh, so I was always under the impression that the most high was the creator, but you said, uh, like, the creator of the world actually Jesus, that the word God here was being eloquent. I want to know what 18 you Yeah, guess yeah. I write 18 and 1. 18 and 1. It's the book, one. Of, it's the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 18 and verse 1. Understand this. He that liveth forever created all things in general. The Most High made everything in general. Right. He's the He's the CEO of the company. Yes, he, it, exactly. he built it even though he ain't stack a brick. Yes, right. he did. Because he told it to be built. Right. He's responsible for it to be built. Right. Think of Yahawashai as the foreman. Right. He carried it out. Right. But think of uh, the Most High as the, the, the CEO of the company. He said, build this. That's why he's the one that got the final approval. It, right. it is good. It is good. Right. 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 He approved of it. Mm -hmm. So we believe and teach that Christ uh, was the one who formed this reality. That's why we must honor him. Oh, yeah. But the most high formed Christ. And in doing that, he built this reality because he right. built who built it. Right. It's a very deep understanding God. that we got lessons on. If you go, Christ is the first creation. We teach yes. that the light in Genesis 1 and 3 is Christ because it is not the same light as 1 and 14. Right. You can't, God didn't make light twice. Light right. So that light that he made was the light of the world, which is Christ. Right. And, he, and through him, everything else was made. You understand that? Right. Yeah, that makes sense. Go on, go on. All praises. Q and A session is over. All right. Um, we got no we got no questions on the clubhouse, and on the YouTube, y'all talking to each other. So, with, oh, we got one question. We got one question. We got one question. Benjamin says, "Is it true when Moses descended Mount Sinai with the laws?" The Mesopotamians summarizing Babylonians were already 1,000 years old and they didn't steal fringes for her. Oh, that question is crazy. Wait, yo, that's one of those, why did he even mention Moses? Mention Moses. <laughs> why did he even mention Moses? <laughs> yo, <laughs> we're already 1,000 years old, therefore, they didn't steal fringes from us. Wait, stop, 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 stop. Fringes as a design. Many people have this, yeah. but they don't mean what they mean to them, right. what they mean to Israelites. Right. If a dude put these on and he worshiped the devil, his fringes <laughs> don't, they don't mean nothing. they're not what the reason we're wearing them is not the same reason he right. is. Mm. Okay. It, Someone stole, told me that we stole fringes from the, Mace, the Masons, Jews. How, how? can... 
Moses, who is a Jew, steal fringes from the Jews. Benjamin, I want you to stay on class and binge watch our channel and you're going to level up. And then next Saturday, uh, ask us some different questions, King. One thing uh, cool. brothers and sisters got to realize is that the known world at that time, a lot of the different nations of people had a lot of the same yeah. customs, yeah. even yeah. the even the language. Because yeah. a lot of it was a lot of the people was Moab was speaking Paleo, bro. Ishmael was speaking Hebrew, Canaanites. Israel was speaking Canaanites was speaking Hebrew. Yeah. A lot of the customs a lot of people was doing, but mm -hmm. didn't mean the same thing. Right. And it'd be the last one that we it, that it meant to us because we have the one and true living God that said it means this. Yeah, it means this. Go to Proverbs 31. This is the last question. The oh, brother man. said, Yeah, one of my favorite proverbs. The brother said, Please explain Proverbs 30 and 1. My earthly father is wicked and deals in root, and my mother doesn't spend money wisely. Why you fraud him like that? <laughs> Keep that close to the vest and, and, and send us an email for a counsel. Uh don't don't talk about your parents so uh lightly. So Proverbs 30 and 1. Is yeah, and, Prover only, and Proverbs 31 has nothing to do with the secondary part. Of, I'm going to take your comment down. Has nothing to do with the secondary part, but because I he said 30 and 11. 11. Mm -hmm. Read that. Now it makes sense. Read it. Book of Proverbs chapter 30 and verse 11. There's a generation that curses their father and does not bless their mother. Um, That is wicked. That's, yeah. Yeah. On, bro. That's a generation that does not honor yeah, that no, father no, and mother. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's wrong. So he said, my father dealing root and my mother don't spend money wisely. It's still not a reason for you to curse your mother. Right. And your father dealing in roots has nothing to do with you honoring him. You yeah. don't have to do nothing. He says that's against the laws of God right. and everything that he tells you to do that don't go against the laws of God. You are to do that. Right. So I mean, all of that's these, it. that's the balance. All of these things that's being read about the generation that there's a generation are bad. Yeah. You know? Next yeah. one says a generation that is pure in their own eyes and yet is not washed from their filthiness. Walking around with dingleberries, man, thinking your booty stank and you think you're somebody. <laughs> you're a dusty <laughs> dirt ball. Yeah. You're dirty, right. man. You're dirty, man. You're dirty. a bummer. That's real nasty. Yo. You're a bummer. You didn't wash yourself from your own filth. I don't think you understand how filthy that is. Bro. But you you putting other people down and you don't even wash yourself. Yo. Right. Yo. And how many how many people of y'all is like that? That's the hypocrisy spirit, man. It's the hypocrisy spirit. Do you have any tips to help a brother balance learning and studying for the truth and studying in college? Make a schedule. Mm -hmm. Be That's organized. It. Make you, a schedule. You be organized. Make a schedule. Yeah. Agree. You gotta be honest. I got a whiteboard in my office. Yeah, get you a whiteboard. Do you this, plan. this, and this today. And then I feel good every time I run, run a line through something that I accomplish. And if I don't, I know where I'm starting. On my next day, mm -hmm. go, go to uh Psalms 40 and 7. Mm -hmm. I said that was the last one. Yeah. This is the last one. This, I don't want in the spirit. Man. Now we having fun, man. Uh, yeah. Got 187 on the YouTube. We got 40 on the call. We got 64 on the clubhouse. That's 40, a good, 40 good and gathering for Sabbath class. No, no, 40 and 40 This is the book of Psalm, chapter 40 and verse 7. Ray. Then said I. Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. Now, this is uh, uh, David speaking here. Mm -hmm. Now, we know that Christ is the volume of the book because the whole book is written of him. But mm -hmm. this is where that comes from. Mm -hmm. Jump up to verse five. Verse five. Six, four, rather. Verse four. Blessed is the man that maketh the Lord his trust. And respecteth not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. Come on. Many, O Lord my God, are thy wonderful works which thou hast done, and thy thoughts which are to usward. Uh, they cannot be reckoned up in order unto thee, Salakia. It's okay. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. Come on. Sacrifice and offering thou didst not desire. Right. Mine ears hast thou opened. Burnt offering and sin offering hast thou not required. Obedience. Watch. Read. Then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. The book is written of David because he's saying, I'm following the commandments. I'm mm -hmm. being obedient to the most high God. This book of the law is written of me. I'm the person that's, yeah. that this is describing. The man you're trying to attain to or be like, it's me. Read. Mm -hmm. 
I delight to do thy will, oh my God. Yay. Yay, thy law is within my heart. That's the point. Your the, the I come the book is written of me. Your law is in my heart. Right. Now, when Christ says it, it has a whole new context. Mm -hmm. As the son of David, when he says it, this book was speaking of my coming. Mm -hmm. I am the law or the word. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's the breakdown, man. Um, the best advice if your wife lives in another state, she's listening. What's the best advice if your wife lives in another state, she's listening? Brother, I'll tell you this. It's open communication. You have to communicate, man. You have to communicate and be with her as much as you can be. Money is tight. Flights yeah. is expensive, but be with her as much as you can be. Teach her and pray with her. All right. All right? And, and keep communication open, man. And if she's in the spirit of the Lord, like if she's um in order and in the spirit of the Lord, she's not going to make that hard for you. All right. Yeah. So, look, that's it for that. Um, We are the Sons of Thunder. It's our heart's prayer and desire for Israel. That they might be saved. Khan? Khan. Come here, Shala. Come here, Shala. We're going to say the Sabbath prayer. Call in the number at the bottom. Make sure your phone is on mute. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.